Tony Blair and Howard Buffett are Rwanda's partners, close partners, and they have made a difference in this country and elsewhere. What I wanted to do years ago was to try to determine how to really have a, a different way forward for a country on the continent to develop their agriculture. And honestly, 10 years ago, we didn't pursue it because we could not think of a country for sure that we had the confidence that we could partner with the government and be assured that we could get done what we needed to do. For Howard to have made the decision to invest in Rwanda, it's not just based on saying, I'll put my money in Rwanda, I'll get high returns for it, and that's it. I think he had another idea behind that. It's, this is a good investment in as far as it also has a huge impact on the transformation of this country's economy. Therefore, it has impact uh, on people as well. So I, I wanted to say this is a very uh, high quality investment in that. Mr. President, just to record the fact, the progress that Rwanda's made has been, I think, by common consent, remarkable, but all of that came through a process of decision making. Ours was probably complex on another scale, starting more or less from nothing, from scratch, and we had to start building something, trying to create value almost out of nothing. When I went to Afghanistan the first time, and one of the guys said to me that I was with, he said, uh, people have to have hope. They, ha they have to think that things, they have to believe that things can change. And I learned that lesson in Afghanistan. So we ended up doing some things differently there than, than we typically would. And it's probably changed how we do things here and other places. Right. If you are helping a country, there is, you, you, you bring the resources, but we appreciate that you can bring ideas as well as, as to how those resources should work for the people where you are putting the resources. But that does not really substitute for the people of that country to be able to make choices of what they want to do and how they want to do it. So then we should have a conversation. I'm actually going to throw this one to you first, Howard. <laughs> you know, you've come right. here, you've been here, you've done work for a long time. What's your thought? The bottom line is that if we didn't think President Kagame was going to be here for another seven years, we wouldn't even consider doing what we're trying to do. That's the bottom line. Um, why, why, what is my reasoning behind that? This is not my future or your future, Tony. This is the Rwandans' future. And so it is imperative that they drive what they see as the important and critical factors that, that will achieve success, not someone from the outside. <laughs>